Hi, this is Tani with the Kinsman Free Public Library. And like we mentioned in our Facebook Live event, if you saw that, I, I'm i sorry. I am not an unscripted person. It could, definitely could have gone better. But for the first time, it wasn't bad, right? We are going to re-record it for a YouTube video so that it, one, will hopefully make a little bit more sense and I will be able to edit out any of the stutters or weird pauses that I get when I am talking. So one of the first things we discussed in our Facebook Live was this phone a librarian think program we are running. Basically, you can call the number on the screen that 234-339-0039 to reach one of the head librarians to get general reference assistance, help with the library's digital collections, or just any kind of basic tech-related concerns that you might be having, whether you're ac accessing Hoopla and Libby, or any other digital services that you are coming across. We also have a few other handy-dandy resource guides. We have this KFPL resource guide that's health and safety. It's got unemployment, voting information, where to get food, internet, and different educational tidbits that might help you get through the two-week social isolation period. We also have a guide, digital library digital resource guide for students that will list different databases as well as different services that kids will be able to access to get help with schoolwork. Then there is also this educational resource guide that our children's librarian actually put together, which is she did a super fantastic job. It's so cute, but she touches on a little bit of everything. So apps, websites, YouTube channels. So she's got the Mo William Lunch Doodles, PBS Kids, Storyline Online, where different celebrities are reading stories, as well as book resources and then just for fun stuff. And then we also have this handy dandy read aloud slash activity sheet. So this will have different places where people are reading stories or doing draw, drawing classes or different kinds of programmings. We also have, if we get back to our homepage, this digital story time in newspapers and more link. So this link, we have a whole bunch of different stuff available for you guys to use. We have a newspaper archive. To use this resource, you just need your library card number and your eight digit pin, which is usually your birthday unless you guys have changed it. You'll just hit this to start using click here link. It'll, if you haven't already logged in, this will be where it would prompt you to log in. And then it will let you explore archived newspapers from our country and also different countries. So you could just click on a state and it will pull up all the newspaper offerings in that state. And you can just keep clicking until it narrows down to a location that you want. So Fairborn has two publications, Dayton has two, so three. So once you find the city that you want to read, you can just click on the little red arrow click here and it'll pull up their newspapers for you. So we have Dayton Daily Express 1950 to 1952, Dayton Ohio Daily Express 1947 to 1950, and then Dayton Union News is 1940 to 1943. So while the news here isn't going to be current, if you're doing genealogy research or if you wanted to start doing genealogy research, this could be a great place to start. Since our Ancestry.com database on the library site is unfortunately library use only. We also are offer a link straight to our YouTube channel, as well as links to each individual digital story time we've been uploading. So every single one we have uploaded so far from Rude Cakes all the way down to today's the Bear and the Piano, as well as another YouTube channel's video who shared 
a story about social isolating and why we're doing the social distancing thing for children. As you scroll through, you're also going to notice there's a bunch of different resources. We have the read aloud sheet again, and then also links directly to our virtual tour videos where we discuss the different museums with tours, zoos, as well as national parks. There's also a link to Tumble Books, which is really fun. If you haven't used Tumble Books or you didn't see the video specifically on Tumble Books, Tumble Books is like Hoopla or Overdrive slash Libby, but you don't have to check anything out. You can just read them right then and there. There's no holds, there's no waiting. You just borrow it and it's good. It's yours to read as long as the site's working. It's got a whole bunch of different books, so it'll offer a different book, video, read along of the day. You can also narrow it down by clicking these guys up here or up here as well. It offers storybooks, read alongs. You can also read nonfiction, watch videos, do different language learning activities, play puzzles and games. And then there are playlists where they've curated different types of books together. If you're not sure what you want to listen to or read, you can just pick one of these playlists and go through it that way. The books on Tumble Book can be really popular books like Good Night, Good Night Construction Site or lesser known ones like Quest Digest. Not quite a well-known title, but it could still be fun to listen to. We also have a link to Time for Kids Digital Magazine. You do have to make an account for this, but I believe it is free yes free access you just have to tell them what grade your child is in so it's grades can the kids are from grades two to six so it's not a super wide variety but it's enough that at least you get that middle chunk of children and then we also have a handy dandy list through com Common Sense Media, they're sharing a whole bunch of different virtual story times, drawing lessons, music classes, all kinds of different things and di at different times. So that's something to totally look at and explore. There's also the Mo... I'm pretty sure I might have already mentioned Mo Williams. I love Mo Williams, but Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus is hilarious. But he's doing lunchtime doodle classes at 1 o'clock every day on YouTube. They saved the past videos, so if you missed one or you want to go back and start from the beginning, they are all there on the Kennedy Center website, I believe. Kennedy Center YouTube channel. You can also probably just go straight to YouTube and type in Mo Williams Lunchtime Doodles, and it should pop up for you. And then the final thing that we discussed was the Hoopla. So if you don't already have a Hoopla account with us or a library if you have a library card with us and you don't have a Hoopla account, please contact us and we will walk you through the process of setting up a Hoopla with your library card. If you or a family member don't have a library card though and you need something to watch, read, or listen to, Hoopla is allowing people now to use their services without a library card. You do only get five titles, but you don't have to have a library card. And there are no holds. On Hoopla, so you usually get things right away, super quick. You, get, you will need to use your email and a password and then let it know that you are borrowing through the Kinsman Free Public Library. And then it has a button for you to say you want to use it without a card. So this whole little page has all the info. If you get stuck or confused, please contact us. You can call us through that phone a librarian program we're doing, through any of our social media, the YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, and we will try our best to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much for being patient with us through all of this. We really hope we get to see you guys all soon. We, we totally understand that this is weird and totally new and something a little bit awkward to be going through so we hope it works okay for you we hope that everything is great for you guys and thanks for watching